Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing yoga for focus, yoga for the mind, yoga for ADD. Now we are not implying that you are replacing your healing modalities with a yoga class. We're just adding a tool to your protocol, to your healing protocol that is proven to be one of the most powerful tools and even though science has been a little late to jump on this even science is coming to the realization that yoga is one of the most powerful tools for personal development healing uh, management of stress pain etc so we're just adding a, one more tool to your arsenal of healing tools, healing modalities, medicines, medicinals, etc. So with that being said, are you ready to focus today? Let's flow with strength and ease. Roll the shoulders back and down starting at the front of the mat lifting through the crown of the head take a few nice deep breaths focus on your breath inhaling and exhaling engaging Mula Bandha Pull the belly in, connect with your core. If you feel like employing here the Wim Hof method, then do circular breathing where you're always inhaling or inhaling, linking them in a pattern and not, ex uh, not exhaling completely, which is a little different from the yogic breath. So choose your breath and you can choose one in each different session so for the Wim Hof is not exhaling completely and not no pauses breathing is powerful and there is many different pranayamas and breathing techniques and they're all transformative to the body to the mind Continue breathing and let's inhale the hands over the head. Lift, reach side to side here, anchoring the feet equally down. Look up, look up. One more time, look up and smile. And look up and smile big because that can transform your state of emotion as well. From here, we're gonna shift the weight onto the right leg, hands over the heart, come onto the tippy toes and come down. Tippy toes, come down. Tippy toes. And come down. Step your left foot back and keep the right knee over the right ankle. Tuck your left knee the way I'm tucking it here. And you're going to lower down and glide your hands down the shin bone and come up, pivoting at the hips and moving the upper body as one unit like a doll, like a so this focus already is very important to your mind focusing on a particular move and how to properly execute it hands over the heart warrior three one-legged chair Bring your leg in front of you and if you are crooked level the hips and sit back back to warrior three leveling the hips in chair leveling the hips at warrior three in warrior three chair warrior three chair Warrior three. Chair. Hold 
hold it. Step the other foot, hip width apart, lower chair. Come up, shift onto <clears throat> your left leg and come onto the tippy toes, lower down. Breathe, tippy toes, down, tippy toes. Hold it, <laughs> down. And hands over the heart and here you're going to step back and extend at right hip forward right knee down stacking them here and again chop 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 lower down come up one so you're using here your glutes and your back muscles couple of those focus on proper form proper execution squeezes and hands over the heart warrior three two one-legged chair level and level the hips in warrior three too so they're not open here you're facing the floor you can keep the standing knee bent chair move through a few more of those chair focus on your breath pausing Double chair to leg, two legs down. Exhale, forward fold. Shake your head. Smile. Step in plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, rock your hips side to side here, knees on the floor to all fours and do a few circles with your spine and with your hips so you're moving the hips and the spine, spine up and down, and the hips circling and now reverse the direction, arching and rounding and arching and rounding, good, extended puppy pose, walk your hands to the front, lower the forehead down, press your hips down towards your heels. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Drop the back heel down. Warrior one. Focus on your breath. Feel free to use mantras. Some people don't like them. They feel they are too... Um, maybe too spiritual so here lower down level the hips and lower your chest over the extended leg some people maybe think they're too spiritual but remember that your voice is powerful words are powerful visualizations are powerful they're a form of creating manifesting by first focusing the mind which is everything that we produce in our life starts with mind so if you feel like it use affirmations use mantras great bend the right knee and come back up in warrior one
straighten the leg one more time this time we're going to twist so lengthen press the right hip back left hand on the floor or on the shin bone right arm up revolving triangle pose which is a, a balancing pose as well as a twisting and a standing pose exhale and soften the belly and release hands on the floor plank to chaturanga to upward dog to chaturanga option of course to downward dog inhale the left leg up step it through warrior one either heel to heel alignment or you can step your feet about hip width apart such as a little more open stance which allows your hips to square press your back heel down towards the floor it doesn't have to touch the floor but it does need an intention and direction so that you know the directions of your muscles how they're stretching how they're elongating how it looks it's not that important you don't have to look like uh, someone from a picture you saw <laughs> or even like what i'm doing i'm just demonstrating as an example of an optional pose <laughs> straighten the lead knee level and square the hips here so if they're not level and they're misaligned focus on your close your eyes focus on your hip alignment imagine your tailbone is it in the same line with your spine lengthen here and lower down again you can be halfway down you can lower a little lower work with your own flexibility level spread your toes engage and lift the arches of the feet bend the left knee and come back up warrior one breathe and straighten the leg reach ahead of you and lower down Parivrita Trikonasana, revolving triangle pose. Focus on your alignment. The left hip is pressing back, the right hip is pressing forward, softening the belly, lengthening through the crown of the head. The hands are reaching away from each other. Exhale. And here we're going to walk the hands to the center of the mat open the feet out and take plie bring your hands over your thighs press the left hand into your thigh look over the right shoulder change sides change sides change sides let's do a little bit of pranayama here so we're going to palms facing up press the elbows back and forcefully exhale and then the last exhalation which is going to be after 20 30 40 exhalations lock the air out and hold either for a long time or for a brief time if you're not familiar with this just for a brief time otherwise you can lengthen the time so let's go kapalabhati breath (laughs) 
and reach over over the head over the head over 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 exhale the hands down plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist look up smile Think about something you're looking forward to in your day, in your week, seasonal, coming out. And here we're gonna focus on our moves and move gracefully as an exotic breath. And we're just going to bring the leg up front, touch the toes, bring it behind, touch the toes, touch, touch, move slowly here and just give yourself time to experience the movement. Extend the leg in front of you. Bend the knee, bring the ankle over the right knee and stretch the left hip here. Flex the foot. I just stay here if you want to do a little more advanced pose here. Bring your hands in prayer, left elbow into the right, into the left foot, sorry, on the right side and twist. Open the chest, coming out, release, and you can shake that leg and tap into your inner graceful dancer and let's go. Focus on your balance. This is an exercise in balance, which brings your mind into focusing on one task only. And extend it in front of you. and stretch sit back flex the foot feel the stretch and twist and if you lose it go back to it and release into yogic squat pressing the elbows into the knees all right grab your ears and just massage the soft part massage 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 now the entire ear massage 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 grab your ears and pull them out and up oh it feels so good and down and out and up and down and plank so let's reverse the plank you can turn your hands towards you or however you want to go into reverse plank and lift up here pointing the toes if you can slight bend in the knees 
or they can be straight but just not hyperextended. Hold here. And lower down and we're gonna do focused again abdominal work. I love focused work since pregnancy it's really been amazing. So extend the right leg and bring the left knee in and change 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 and reverse plank so here stack your joints on top of each other so the shoulders are above the wrists don't flap your feet out if you can bring the toes down on the ground ideal if your toes are off the floor bend the knee slightly lift Body lifting, you can tuck your chin. Lower down, and here we're going to roll onto the left hip and lift, engaging the inner thighs. Lift, really important, Mula Bandha, which is the root chakra lock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, knee to elbow. Now this is also inner thigh to coral move. Two, three, four, really squeeze the abs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and change sides. One, two, three, really squeezing the inner thighs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, really squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down into bridge pose. And here you're going to tuck the tailbone under in a pelvic tilt and really pull the belly in. You have complete control in this position of your core muscles, especially the muscles under the belly button, lower belly. So extend the left leg out and bring it back in. Extend the right and bring it back in. Extend and in extend and in please engage now mola banda this can really help your mind stabilize extend and in focus on your core really squeeze it now bring your fingers on the belly and touch feel where the muscles are firing up it's the deep this works on the deep abdominal muscles so it's not going to engage the six pack and the visible muscles so you might have to go a little deeper to feel the muscles that are engaged tuck the tailbone under keep it tucked under and really feel everything engaging here feel the fire in your belly <laughs> that's the song Yoga is not a posture. Yoga is a way of being. How we move through the world, into the world. Great. You can twist side to side, drop your knees to one side, to the other side. 
into plow so you're going to lift here and either support it plow where your hands are on your legs it's a very calming pose or into uh, full shoulder stand or into supported shoulder stand supported plow support your shoulder stand so choose whatever you want here in a form of an inversion if you're a beginner just choose a supported either supported plow or supported shoulder stand they look similar here of this grab the back of your knees and rock up to sit it come onto your knees and lower down in child's pose Slowly come up to sit it. Inhale your hands all the way over the head. Exhale them over the third eye and over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste.